I suffered for many months in the hands of my uncle. This is my story after the death of my parents. Linda, how are you? What brought you to my house like this for God they have? Don't worry, sit down, sit down. <sighs> what is it? Uncle, hmm. since my parents died, things have not been fine with me. I can't feed well and I can't pay my school fees. Uncle, please. I really need your help, please. <clears throat> so, um, in other words, you are starving and you are not able to pay your school fees, right? Yes, Uncle. So unfortunate. <sighs> so, yeah, it's a pity that I just used the last money that I have to give to my wife's brother for him to be able to pay his school fees. And right now, as we are talking, I don't have any money on me. I would have loved to help, okay? Uncle, is there no way you can raise money for me? Linda, I don't have money. That's what I'm saying. If I have, I will. I will, I will have definitely have to help you. It's okay, bro. It's okay, sir. I should be on my way. Linda, uh, <clears throat> actually, I just uh, remember that I have some money that I can spare for you. Um, but that's if we really use. Oh, leave me alone. I'm not ashamed of yourself. In fact, I don't want some money again. What? Linda! You don't need the money. Okay. You don't need it. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So, who will be dropping me off, you or mommy? Um, mommy will drop you off because she will be traveling to go bring your cousin Linda over. Linda? Oh, oh yes. that would be great. I can't wait to see her again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. And, uh, maybe on your way back, uh, when you're done with school, I'll come pick you up. Okay. That's your mommy. Yeah, baby. Come on, go <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensitive. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, mommy. Why did you tell me that you'd be bringing Linda to join us? Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. I took the decision with your father last night. Okay, that aside, the most important thing is that she'll be coming. Yes. So? So you're happy? Yes. Don't worry, I'll come pick you up once you're done from school, okay? Okay, Dad. Um, 
Oh, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on. Make sure you mm -hmm. try safe. I will. But good. You'll have a safe trip. Thank you. I'll see you on your back. Bye, Dad. All right. Take care.
I set my eyes on you. And it's not that it's difficult to see you two. You look like so big. <laughs> so where are you off to? Nowhere. Really? Yes. Actually, I came to see you. You came to see me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, come to the car, let's go. My parents died. I've never enjoyed living life as an orphan. Please, can I ask you for something? Yes. I want a new father and a new mother. People that will take me as their own child. Yes. I please, do you have anyone that can adopt me? I don't even mind if they already have kids. Linda, please look no further. Your uncle sent me to you. Yes. So you can live with us and further your education. Really? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, let's go back and eat. Let's leave you.
Welcome back, my love. Come here. Very proud. Very proud. Very proud. After bringing the money for the food, mm. give me the one. Um, really? Um, Linda, you enjoy your meal? Yes, I think you can make a delicious Wow, it's not going to talk about it. Yeah, we go to table and ask you something. Life has been nothing 
to write to my about. Everyone abandoned me. My uncle shared my parents' properties and left me with nothing. I stopped school due to lack of money. And I lived in hunger. Linda, it's okay. You now have a home. You have a brighter future. My dad will enroll you in school and he will pay your fees. And you can eat well. It's okay. I miss my parents. It's okay. It's so fun. Take your steps. <laughs> I don't know, brother, those early morning 
Don't you have more than just this to do? Or does it mean your parents could not afford the money to buy you clothes before they died? Linda! Can I say something wrong? Linda, please. Leave me alone. Linda. I didn't mean to say it. I didn't mean to insult you. I didn't know that those words of mine will hurt you. Please forgive me. I won't say it again, I promise. I won't say it again. I won't insult you again. Please forgive me. Have you forgiven me? Linda. Answer me now. Linda. Please. Have you forgiven me? I don't want a nod. Say, say, say yes. No, I don't want yes. Say you've forgiven me. Please now. Say you've forgiven me. I'm forgiving you. Thank you. Don't worry, I won't insult you again, yeah? Stop crying. Here, take this. You want me to wash them? No, they're for you, from me to you. Wow. Thank you. At least I have clothes I can change your dress. Yeah. Okay, let me get going. Okay. <laughs> I was beginning to enjoy my stay with my uncle and his family. Mommy. No. Why do you ask? She has been unusually quiet and withdrawn. She doesn't come close to me like she used to. Really? What do you think will be the problem? Something must be wrong. Maybe she could be missing her parents. Okay, um, why don't you try and find out what the problem is? What do you think she's going to tell me? I'll, I'll try, I'll try and find out, but... Please try, 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 since you've noticed it. Actually, I'm, I'm looking into the matter, and um, you know the problem there is is the finance. As soon as money comes in, I will, I will fix it up in the school. You don't have the finance? Then why did you make me bring her? This is not fair. 
Marcus was taking a first step, bringing her over. So as soon as the finance comes in, we'll fix her in school. Okay? You need to do something about it. You have to do, do something very fast. She can't just, you know. You just said I should do something very fast. I have not said if the money comes in, I will do it fast. Okay? Just relax. You know, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. So please. You can't just be idle in the house. It's not nice. She can't just remain in the house doing nothing. I will do it as soon as the money comes in. I can see you're reading. Yes. I decided to read on my own since I'm not started school. Oh, that's very nice of you. Um, Linda, do you really want to start school? Yes, of course. Why not? That's the reason why I came. Your dad promised to enroll me in the school. So, what is he doing about it? Nothing. I've discussed it with him, but he's not saying anything. I'll talk to my mommy about it. I'll tell my mommy to tell my daddy to hasten him up, okay? So that they'll put you in school. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me not disturb you. Okay. Let me know. Okay. Your dad's fault. I tried talking him into it, but he hasn't said anything. So, mommy, please talk to him again. Keep talking to him. I want to be going to school in her company. Please, mom. I will. Okay, thanks, mom. You're welcome. So now. at you. <laughs> Long truth. Yes, so. Look at you. You've stained yourself. You see? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing concerning Linda's school fees? I've told you. I'm walking towards it. I'm walking towards it. How long will it take you to walk towards it? The poor girl is just at home doing nothing, while in a wait time. Which is not fair. It's not good. Maybe I've told you. Alright, you need to slow down on this. Linda is my responsibility. And I said I will deal with it when I can. Okay?
about it tonight. Wow, thank you, mommy. Mm. I'll be so happy if she starts school. Mm. Uh, mommy, are you not going to work today? No, tonight is my off, so I'll be with you. Yay, this will be great. <laughs> thank you, mommy. And maybe we'll soon be back from school. And I don't want to stay, I want to follow you. What is your reason? Okay, and if I follow you, I won't follow you to your office. I will stay outside until you close. Linda, you can't follow me to work. Auntie, please. Please, I'm off to work.
Are you okay? You're crying. Linda, what is it? Talk to me. Did anybody beat you? Did anybody offend you? Talk to me now. What's the problem? What is it now? Talk to me. Linda, talk to me. Okay. Come, let's go inside. What is it now? Okay, stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. So kind. Linda. 
No, why? Why should I do such? Then, what could be her problem? I tried finding out what her problem could be, but every attempt met a brick wall. Whatever is going on. <sighs> Linda. Linda, eat your food now. Inside. You have to follow us inside the house. No. What's your problem? I'm not going to leave you here. No. You, you're not sleeping outside. You won't. You won't sleep outside. Linda, Linda, don't disrespect me. Let's go upstairs. No. Linda. No. She cannot sleep here. She can't. Linda. Linda, please. You know as it is, I'm like a mother to you. So please, just listen to me and... 
Come, let's go inside the house. Please, I'm begging you. Please, Linda, please. Or she has refused to say anything. I'm worried. It's so bad for to be why she would go sit out there crying all alone and refuse to tell anybody, tell anybody what the problem is. Yeah. You know what's going on. Let's let's go see her. Okay, let's go. Talk to me. Why are you not telling anybody what the problem is? She's been behaving like this. Okay, um, let's go, let's go inside. than you are because I've not seen the face before. anything is wrong with her. Why not go and find out yourself what her problem is? I and your mom walked up to her and asked her but she refused telling anyone what it is I was speaking about. I don't know.
Honey, I think we should send her back since she has refused to tell us what her problem is. Send her back to work. Home, of course. If you truly love that girl, you should care for her. What has caring got to do with a girl who 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 has been crying for days now and has she has refused eating? Maybe she wants to go back home, so let's send her back. Baby, you don't need to be rash in your decisions, okay? I think we should. We should just give her a little more time. Maybe, maybe she will open up. Now she's just a child. You think so? Girls should take good care of yourselves. We will. All right. Um, I want you both to lock those gates and keep the house secure till I come back. Okay. First, you got to turn that one. Of course, I do. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Open the gate. Take okay. care. Right, take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Linda. Linda. Sir? Yes, sir. Do you know you are a very beautiful girl? Thank you, sir. Um, you know, uh -huh. come, come sit here. I just come, come sit here. Uncle wants you to sit here and uh, give him a kiss. Uncle? No, I'm just a, just a pet. No, please, I'm a pet. No, Uncle. Oh, come on. It's nothing. Just come on. Come on. Come on. I want you to help me massage it. Just get this oil and you know, just help me massage it so that the pain can be reduced. Uncle, I should come and massage. No, Uncle, I can't do it. What is that that you can't do just to get this oil and massage it so the pain can reduce? Uncle, I cannot do it. Why can't you do it? Linda, there's nothing there. It's just to. Uncle, I don't know how to massage. I cannot do it. Come, come and then you come and learn since you don't know how to do it. Come and learn it. Linda, come. Linda, come. Linda! Linda! It's okay, I'll leave. But, need I remind you that I promised to pay your school fees. But since you have refused to give me this, this little thing I have requested for, just forget about me paying your school fees, okay? You go back to the street where you're from. Uncle, oh, please. You can't afford to chase me out from the house. Are we? This is my house. You will go back to the street where you came from. Uncle, please. You are like a father to me. And you are my mother's brother. Just your mother's brother. You understand that? You know what? At this point in time, you do not have an option. It's you scratch my back and I scratch your back. Okay? Uncle, please. Time you come call to me, let me know.
I'm screaming. No, there's no need for you to scream now. You can scream. Okay, relax. No, don't you leave me alone. It's not painful. It's not painful. I'm I thought I had a voice and that of my dad. My voice and that of your dad. No. Maybe I was being that loud. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. What is it you want me to do for you? So it's it's a bit complicated, but um, I want you to give me your word first. I give you my words if it's a thing that I can do. Yes, it's a thing you can do. Um, you see, I I want us to I want us to be. Uncle, please stop. I know where you are going to. Please, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Linda! He continued disturbing me until this particular day. Okay, I'll... 
repair. Okay, I'll prepare the contract. I have it sent to you, so what you would do is um, get me an IMFBA and um, RWA from your bank and a DOA, and we can go from there. Good then. All right. He continued to molest me sexually and threatened to kill me with a knife if I tell anyone about his escapades with me. <laughs> Listen, you know what this is, right? 
I guess you know what this is. I'm gonna tell you something. This is what I'm gonna do with it. If you tell my wife or my daughter about what went down between all of us, I'm gonna shoot it. Put it in a body bag. Throw it in an ocean. And I'll be the one to see you. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I am going to die. Why has God forsaken me? Can't he see the pleas of an orphan? He continued molesting me. I was so afraid to protest because of the beating he gave me the last time. I got pregnant for him six times and he took me for abortion six times. When I discovered the situation was no longer bearable, I decided to take my destiny into my hands. I decided that enough was enough.
into your own hands. Officer, arrest her. Stand up here I don't care if I'm clamped into jail or killed. I do not regret my actions. I will continue to speak for every child, especially the vulnerable ones like me. I will continue to speak for them against rape, molestation, trafficking and domestic violence. You have every right to remain silent as whatever you say or do here will be used against you in the court of law. Now move it. <laughs> 